In today's video, I'll be decorating the family room. Hey, it's Becca and welcome to my channel. If you've been hanging out with me for a while, you know I love to start with a blank slate. I just feel as though it allows your mind to really envision how you want the space to look. And part of that vision was deciding to paint the planks behind the TV. I did that because unfortunately the stain was starting to take on a bit of an orange undertone. So I gave them a fresh coat of Bistro White. Now admittedly, I don't know if I'm even going to keep the planks up there. I may remove them and continue the battens that you see up towards the top of the screen. Another recent addition that I did share in our winter home tour is bringing back this rug. It was downstairs in our basement rec room, but I wanted to share it with you again, or for those of you who had not seen it, just so we could chat a little bit about layering rugs. You can see below that one is a larger seagrass rug. Now, admittedly, I wish it was larger. We had this in our last home, but it still works in this space, so I'm just going with it. So I'll layer a neutral on the bottom and we'll invest a little bit more money in that and then layer a less expensive smaller rug on top by adding the smaller rug it can again be more budget friendly you can change it for the season or your mood but it's a great way to anchor your space something else that i recently brought back is this faux olive tree that i placed in just a large basket one thing I like about trees, whether they are faux or real, is they are such a great filler for a corner, especially when you don't wanna spend a lot of money on a piece of furniture. Now, before I start decorating, let's skip on over this empty sofa to share with you one more thing, and that is this beautiful new mirror. It is a really great dupe for the one from Anthropology. I love that one, just not the price tag. So when I saw someone, well, quite a few people share this on TikTok, I knew I had to have it. It is from Sam's Club and it was only $150. I believe it's six feet by tall by 36 inches wide. So if you've been looking for one like this and you have a Sam's Club membership or know someone who does, I suggest you go grab one quickly because they keep selling out of them. Starting back at the faux olive tree, let's show it a little bit of love by adding a few of these really cute heart ornaments. I believe I found them at Walmart. I know, I know, it's not a lot on there. However, it's just a little hint of color and nod to the holiday. Now let's turn our attention to the sofa table. I usually have this piece right here. Often though, I do change out the lamps, but now we need something in the middle. This simple vase filled with faux roses in white and pink should hopefully do the trick. Of course, you can never go wrong with candles. I'm adding my favorite battery operated ones that I'll link below for you. Time to do something with the sofa, starting with a very plain throw right in the middle. And then I'm bringing in these pillow covers. They are a recent purchase. I love that they have the larger check on one and the smaller on the other, but I think I'm gonna go with the larger check for this look. That's a little bit better. So I have my end buffalo check pillows contrasting with the solid white and then a companion gray and white stripe finishing off with this whimsical heart pillow right in the middle. 
onto the coffee table to anchor it a bit and add some color. I took a shawl that I had on hand and folded it into thirds, so now it appears to be a runner. And then I'm bringing back my favorite dough bowl. Every one of you needs a dough bowl in your life. They are the perfect accessory and they're really fun to style. For Valentine's Day, the first thing I'm adding is this faux greenery. I just spread the branches apart and I'm just going to place it right on the bottom. Of course, I've got to mess with it a little bit to get the branches exactly how I want them. Now I'm just weaving in a strand of fairy lights. These cute plastic hearts are from the Dollar Tree. I think they'll be a fun addition as well. Last thing I'll add are a couple of these white hearts. I like how they contrast between the white and the green. Moving on to the mantle, if you joined me last week, you saw where I did this little project. I'll link that video at the end of this one if you'd like to take a look. But it's time to balance something on each side. So I have an idea. I have two of these white bases, winter branches and faux tulips. And I really like that the tulips have pink in them because it helps to make it not look so Christmassy, if that makes sense. I started by placing the winter branches in the middle, even though they're getting shoved all around, and then surrounding them with the faux tulips and just messing around with the tulips until I get them looking how I want them to look. Now I'm just gonna place one on each end. Of course, I've still gotta mess around with them. I like how placing one at each end really helps to frame the quote artwork in the middle. And then to continue a little bit more color on the mantle, just placing a couple of X's and O's that I had on hand. They were natural stain, but I gave them a quick messy coat of red craft paint. Of course, we have to add ambiance up there as well. Again, using my favorite battery operated candles. Lastly, I'm just gonna add a strand of garland. I love this whimsical poof one that I know it's only a matter of time before our cats tear it down. So I'm just going to enjoy it while I can. And then down below, I'm bringing back a chair that I often place here. Going to layer a simple throw that matches one, the one on the sofa, a gray and white pillow that also matches the one on the sofa, and this whimsical heart pillow. Over in the corner, I'm keeping the print because it is still winter and I like how the red ties in with Valentine's Day. Below, I decided to add a blush throw to counter some of that red a bit and then just anchored it with a white throw on each end. Of course, I had to add a little bit of Valentine whimsy here as well. Now let's do something with the chairs. And you know, if you've been here long enough, I'm going to mirror exactly what I did on the sofa by adding the same buffalo check pillows and white ones. And then a super comfy faux fur rug to the ottoman. On this chair though, I'll just add a throw, but again, the same pillows. Finally, let's do something with the bookcases. First, adding plates and a little bit of greenery. And then one of these cute metal houses. I think it's perfect for Valentine's Day because of the heart embellishment at the top. And then of course books, adding a red one to suit the holiday.
And since I had some of the red plastic hearts left, I decided they would be fun to add to the canisters. A last little touch is hot gluing the white hearts to the baskets. And here's the finished look. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'll be back next time to share my Valentine's slash pre-spring home tour. I hope you join me then, and I also hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Have a great week. Bye-bye.